What's up insiders, to Film Inside, I'm your host Eric. So on today's episode, we're gonna be taking a look at focal depth. What is it? How should you utilize it? So first to explain focal length. Focal length is how far the lens is to a camera sensor. So here is a zoom lens. Right now it is at 70 millimeters. So the focal length is 70 millimeters. When I zoom into an object, I can go all the way up to 300 millimeters on this lens. So now that's zoomed in all the way, it is at 300 millimeters and that is the focal length. Now, focal length really just has to do with zooming in to a subject. But then there also is focal depth. When you zoom into a subject, you're not only increasing the view of that specific subject, you're also changing around the background and everything else around that subject. But let me explain. So here is my subject at 18 millimeters. You can see the subject pretty decently, but you can also see the background behind it. There's a lot of landscape in the background and you get a good understanding of where this subject is. But now change the focal length to 50 millimeters. You're gonna see that the subject is still there. You can still see the subject, but take a look at the background. The background now is a lot more compressed and you can't see as much of the background. So you're really focusing on the subject even more. But now going to a focal length of 300 millimeters, you're gonna see that there is even less of the background because now you're so zoomed into a subject that the background, the landscape, is even more compressed. It's kind of hard to figure out where this subject actually is and it lets you focus on the subject even more. So just to kind of sum up focus depth. Focus depth is one part of depth of field. Depth of field is what's in focus compared to what's out of focus. Example, in like a movie, you'll notice that like usually a subject's in focus while the background's all blurred out. The blurred outness is known as bokeh. But regardless, focal depth is only one part of depth of field, but it is very important. I'm in the process of pre-production on a short film right now, and I need to figure out what lens I want to get for this film. If you have a DSLR, buying lenses is a huge thing for DSLRs because they can cost a lot and they can change your image up entirely. So understanding focal length, focal depth, what a lens will do to your camera is very important. So that's why I'm here explaining to you focal depth. Guys, if you have any questions about focal depth or focal length or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. I'll be continuing to talk about camera settings and stuff in the future about uh, controlling your depth of field. Aperture is probably next, so stay tuned for that. But anyway, guys, again, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you have any other videos you'd like to see from me, let me know also. Anyway, guys, that's the video for today. I'm Eric. I'm signing out.